So I applied for the golden ticket opportunity because I thought it was a great uh, stepping stone from my degree, which is performance related, into a theatre industry. industry. Um, and yeah, it's a way of getting into this kind of theatre community and searching for the dream job. Well, it was actually, I found the application quite late on and I saw it, read through it and just went, I want this job. <laughs> you know, when you see something, you just think, that I'm, I want to do that. So I had to really rush it, but <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing. You don't get to work on the West End. You don't get to spend a week like, working with all these people. So, yeah. I've done a lot of amateur stuff and you just don't get the opportunity to work in a professional environment without going through your training or knowing somebody. So I think um, to have the opportunity to even apply, let alone then get down to actually doing it, is not something that happens at all. So it's really nice to be given the opportunity and for someone to trust you, even though you, they don't know what you can do yet. At the moment, so I've done a few things here. I've done well for where I'm at, like, did an apprenticeship, got work out of there, did another job, and then applied for stuff, and it's just, you don't get anything back, it's sort of, but I don't blame them, I wouldn't employ me compared to other people that have been years and years, you know what I mean, but this is just like the perfect middle between, you know, doing the job you're doing, and sort of still learning and getting to the, to the place you need to be to be able to be employable by theatre companies, so that was the reason, and it's in the West End of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, well, I recently graduated from university and I was finding it quite difficult to sort of get my foot in the door and a lot of jobs I was applying for I wasn't getting great responses so I applied for this kind of on a whim because I just thought it's never going to happen um, and it did and it's fantastic. <laughs> um, so we follow different departments um, every day which is great because I hadn't really had a massive experience with sort of wigs and costumes so it was really nice to see how the departments were. Uh, so today I've got sound which I'm quite excited about. So. It's been amazing. We've got to work in like, I've never done anything in wardrobe so seeing all the costume changes and everything that it was crazy. Unplumpers just flying around getting into like putting squirrel costumes on. Uh, so far Monday I did wardrobe and wigs, uh, Tuesday I did sound and then yesterday I did lighting. Uh, today is automation and DSM. And then tomorrow is uh, wig maintenance and then following then hair care. So the week has involved um, a day with sound. I've done some sound checking, so learning how to fit up microphones. And then I sat with the orchestra in the pit. I took a ride in the elevator, which was great fun. I spent some time with the electricians and the lighting department with stage management and today I'm with wardrobe and costume. So, so far I've done, I've been with lighting, so the first half of the show you can see is walled off, there's just screens everywhere and it's all, it's all going on. And then the second act up next to a follow spot, what I was so doing, and I didn't actually realise how much they were doing, so there's five of them, and you wouldn't realise until you sit next to them and they're doing so much. And I uh, just did that on Monday and then Tuesday I was with the DSM, so calling the show, and before that I did checks with the automation guys, and it was just everything moving basically on stage without someone moving it. And um, that was just amazing because I've never seen that before. Because obviously working in small theatre, they don't really have all that kind of stuff. But it's, it was just mind blowing. Literally, it's just amazing how they do it all. And then yesterday I was with wigs before, which was interesting because I've never done anything like that before. It was funny how many there are. It's just so amazing. My favourite was uh, being backstage, uh, following the ASM. That was the best, just seeing how everything moves around and everything goes onto the stage. It's just I think I enjoyed wardrobe, just because it was the most manic. And then, but sound, I didn't have any idea how it worked. So to watch her do it was incredible. I was mesmerised. My highlight has definitely been going in the elevator. Absolutely. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It's quite scary. Yeah. yeah. Did you have to tell us how it was like? Uh, no. Absolutely <laughs> not. Top secret. With Rory and ASM during the show yesterday, I found that was my favourite by far. It was just, it was just mad. I want to watch it again from the front because I know everything, how it all works now. I just, it's amazing. Isn't it? Probably shadowing the ASM just to see sort of how they do their job, basically. Um, lots of 
it's really nice to just be backstage just while the show's going on because you get to see how all the departments slot in together and it's just so smooth and professional obviously um but yeah i think probably shadowing asm was probably my highlight of the week so far <laughs> I, I know this is where I want to work, um, but it's really nice for the five days to be able to split yourself into different departments because I'm not 100% sure of which direction. So it's nice to it's nice to be here anyway, but then to get the opportunity to do five different departments gives you a, your head a bit of a chance to go, oh, actually, I didn't think I'd be that interested in that one, but oh, I might go down that route. It, it's, you just don't think it's going to happen. It's just one of those invaluable experiences that I don't think it'd come round again. Like it's just you don't think you're going to be on a West End stage working with stage managers and all these people that are just so well known in theatre. Well, I'm so grateful to Warner Brothers for being put on the Creative Talent Programme, and um, it's great to be just introduced to these amazing stage managers and people that work here. And it's great to be given the opportunity at this scale of a theatre to. Kind of practice the art and to learn so much from other people as well so it's really good inside warner brothers they've offered us all these training classes and just even this on our cvs is going to make a huge difference to applying to things knowing the people that we've met here like just yeah warner brothers offering us all these training classes that are going to help you so much anyway just i've gained confidence from being here as well just in the fact that those people have faith in you to choose you to be one of these last five is just amazing really No, <laughs> not at all. Not really, apart from on our like breaks and stuff. But it's I was a bit worried about sort of is there going to be pressure? Like, is it going to be a bit catty? But not at all. I it's sort of I've made new friends. I know it sounds so cliche, but um, no, I really have. They're all lovely, and if I don't get a three month placement, I'm not even gonna. I like I want them to get it. Do you see what I mean? I wouldn't feel a grudge. They deserve it.